This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other, and that's going to become clear right about now. Mono a mono, one fall will decide it. But hey, Finn Balor has the luck of the Irish on his side. Time will tell if that's enough, though. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. Finn Balor has to be thinking about what right now? He undoubtedly stands out from the pack with that larger-than-life, bold personality of his. It's going to take a lot to beat him tonight, Michael. From what I've been told, he's been spending extra hours in the gym in anticipation of getting in the ring with this guy. Well, one thing's for certain. You're never going to overlook him. I mean, not with that type of personality. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, that's gonna hurt, come on! Now he just wants that insult to injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. Daniel Bryan going to work now. Daniel Bryan is doing an excellent job dominating this match. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. Back now inside the ring. That's a great example of a highly efficient and highly effective strike. What placement. Look at Finn Balor here. You know, we used to say Daniel Bryan was one of the most humble superstars the WWE has ever seen. But, as his stock has risen, he's become an altogether different kind of competitor. This is a man who now feels there is no one he can't get the better of in the ring. The flying goat wrestles with a huge chip on his shoulder. Daniel Bryan's endured a severe beating to his neck. I don't know how bad or to what extent, but Daniel Bryan must be injured here. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Finn Balor is in position. He's looking for the win. This may be it. Two, three. It's all over. That's the final elimination.